Welcome back, everyone. This is Omni Talk Retail. I'm Ann Mazinga. And I'm Chris Walton. And we are here from the Fusion booth at number 4921 here at NRF, uh, the big show. We have another Sam's Club person here next to me who's going to share more about what you just heard from Todd Garner, their chief product officer. Next to me is Julie Barber, the chief merchandising officer at Sam's Club. Uh, Julie, welcome to the show. Thank you. Excited to be here. Yeah. yeah first time for you. First time. Yeah. Yes. Um, and we love talking to merchants as well because you are the role right now yes. that everybody is saying you can't replace can you replace merchants with ai no you cannot <laughs> you still need the merchants so we're excited to have you here today yes i'm Thank sure you. many people are trying though you know yes. given the way this industry works all right so with that said chief merchant what's your background and describe describe everything that your role uh that's under your purview because many different retailers can you know create the merchandising role the chief merchandising role very differently or operate it very differently so i'd love to hear about that yeah true so actually i've been with walmart inc for 21 years first few years in transformation type of roles and moved into merchandising uh, about five years in and I've spent 15 years in merchandising okay I've done everything in merchandising I've worked in fresh dry grocery snacks and Bev I worked in OTC health and wellness consumables I worked in general merchandise home hard lines etc and now at Sam's Club I have the gamut so it's been fun a good career yeah so many pivots learned so many things um, and under my purview now is quite a bit of things so all of these sort of categories that I just talked about right. in terms of, you know. And then also at Sam's Club, we have a big services business. So I also have services and credit cards. So travel, pharmacy, oh, all those things. Yeah. Interesting. It's fun. And do you have the digital side of that as well? Digital side okay. as well. Yeah. All right. Interesting. All right. Um, well, Julie, I'm curious what you, as you look back at 2025, especially from the merchandising uh, sector of the business, was there anything that surprised you about how members were shopping this past year uh, that might influence kind of what your team's strategy is uh, ahead now in 2026? Yeah, absolutely. I think what we saw is our members were very intentional. They were thoughtful about they wa what they wanted. Okay. They were leaning in for value. They were headed for a lot of healthy choices, a lot of things with protein. You're um, seeing that too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I think that health and wellness trend. But then the other thing is they come in intentionally for some of these trips, and then they love the surprise and delight. So we had a lot of fun with surprise and delight, where there were brands, new items that the member wasn't expecting. Also, club of the community. They like to feel their community when they come in to the club or they're on the website. So those sort of themes were coming out last year and they're still trending right into this year yeah very intentional in their shopping wow julie i'm curious too we had todd garner on earlier as ann alluded to at the outset your your head of product um scan and go we talked yeah. about uh, scan and go a lot about that with him curious has that does the 40 percent usage i think yeah, todd said that's right has that usage rate impacted how you think about merchandising and the product selection you put into a sam's club Absolutely. It has. Okay. Absolutely. One of the things that I think is fantastic is with Scan and Go, we learn a lot more about our member and how they want to buy things, when they want to buy things, the track that they take. Mm. Uh, so it allows us to think more about what are the right items, what are the adjacencies, the assortment that we carry. So Scan and Go is a big, big win for our merchants. So it's kind of like it gets to that connected store idea too Absolutely. a little bit because you're able to see the path and what people are doing when they're in the store and what's working and what's not. Yeah, absolutely. I think the other thing that I would say is a lot of the work that Todd and team are doing are allowing us to see better accuracy around our inventory. Where is our inventory placed? Is it on the floor? Is it in the steel? So yeah, scan, between Scan and Go and our scrubbers, it, it really helps the lives of the merchants. The scrubbers too, how so? Oh yeah, those scrubbers, you know, they're actually going up and down the aisles. They're telling us exactly where our inventory is. So if a club says I can't find it, oh, I can find it through the data of the scrubbers. So it's really great to see it. Or if we, we might need to go back and say, hey, there's a great new item for new year, new you that we're not seeing enough sales on. The scrubbers tell us it's in the steel. Hey, club managers, can you help us get it down? Yeah. It's really right. fantastic. Simple as that. Simple. Yeah. Makes sense. Right. Makes sense. Just having the data. Fundamentals. Absolutely. Um, well, Julie, one of the things you mentioned earlier was kind of, kind of changing uh, requirements from consumers, especially in members, especially looking for things with more protein. Fresh, obviously, uh, I assume a Huge. big component yeah. of that, too. 
Um, with fresh being such a challenging part of the business, low margins, you have spoilage and things to think about. Um, how do you think about the assortment that your merchants are putting forward in fresh to kind of like give you that treasure hunt of like, ooh, the the you know the yeah. milk that has protein added to it versus you know just keeping those staples in in uh, shop yeah. or in clubs so that people can find those things time and time again. Yeah. So I think we sort of have looked at it and said. First, we're going to lean in with healthy food. So you might have okay. heard, but we have an amazing brand called Members Mark. Yep. We just, as of January 1, we completed our commitment of removing 40 artificial colors and ingredients. So all the things that you buy from Members Mark are healthy. So keeping that at the base, leaning into fresh fruits and veg, and then a lot of amazing choice for the member as it becomes ease. So we have a home meal solution business. If you haven't tried it, you should come mm. in, um, where you can get amazing meals, healthy meals, through members mark that are fresh and that is how we kind of can lean in with the treasure hunt right. so you might want to have we might have tacos during this season we have all kinds of different options also in our frozen business okay so for us it, i think fresh it can be um a hard business but it's actually been a phenomenal business for us at sam's club right. growing 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 continuing to grow a lot and that's also i think that the, the thing i would tell you about that is we have the absolute best merchants at sam's club in Fresh particularly, we have a great number of merchants who have been, they're, I would say, in the role for a long time. They know what they're doing. They're experts. They're out in the fields. We have sommeliers. We have people who have worked in fruit and veg all the time. So there's that balance of taking what could be a really hard category and building in. We have so much expertise. It helps us not have to worry so much about the basics. Mm -hmm. And then we can get these other exciting things going and try new things, surprise and delight. If there's a little blip, we can. Yeah. We're okay. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. It's a it's an art and science. How, I'm curious, how do you as a merchant, as a merchant leader, continue to impress upon your team the idea of surprise and delight? Like, is there anything you do, like, just oh, to yeah. keep that top of mind? Absolutely. Well, when we're in meetings, we talk about things that are surprise and delight. We also, one thing is wonderful is our comms team, we get a lot of talk out there in the world about our surprise and delight so people see articles about it we talk about them in meetings if you want a hot item at a great value it's talked about so the surprise and delight is sort of an element all the time it is a core pillar of my strategy so we never stop talking about yeah. it yeah in fact you just had a big pharmacy announcement yes on we surprise did and delight too. We tell did. us about that yeah pharmacy announcement um, we are now offering some GLP ones in a pill form which is fantastic and we're excited about that uh, we also have pharmacy delivery so that is fantastic for us our pharmacy business is doing well and we have some great leaders there. That's awesome. All right, so let's. We're at NRF 2026. It's a tech conference. AI talk of the town. Of Agentic, the word of the show. Um, how are you thinking about the application of AI from a merchant leader perspective? Oh, yeah. Like, are you using it for pricing, forecasting? But I want you to talk about it through all all the angles that you can. So, like from the uh, headquarters, also to the consumer side of things, because you touch yep. everything. Yeah, let me start uh, like kind of at the beginning and talk about assortment. Okay. So we're using Agentic for assortment a lot. Oh wow. We, yeah. Oh yeah. So we we do it internally and externally. So we have a lot of data internal. We can look at our current makeup of items and say what is working well in clubs, what is not, and we can pull in sister clubs. So, for example, a club in Florida is doing really well on a bunch of things, but we want to see what's not working as well. And we find a few items. Maybe we're sending them too many warm weather or cold weather items. We look and say, okay, we need to pull those out, but what do we need to replace it with? We can look at our current assortment and see what sister stores have and immediately pull it in. Agentic has built this for us. It used to take weeks and right. weeks with spreadsheets, oh and God. now it's like, bam, 20 minutes later, you know how to make changes into your clubs. Then there's a broader a sense of assortment that we can actually pull in third-party data to understand what's in the marketplace that we don't have. So I think from an assortment standpoint, really what Agentic is doing for us is speeding it up. There's another part of that as I think about getting to the consumer. Once you decide on the assortment, you're then deciding how much of it am I going to buy? Where am I going to place it? Is it in a club? Is it in a fulfillment center? How do they want it? And as we take the agentic information and input that, it's giving us more precision on where to place it, how much to buy. And that means something to the member. A couple things I would say. One is it means better in stock. It means it can get to them faster through a fulfillment center because we ordered the right amount and put it in the right place. And ultimately what I believe is we're going to get to a point where all of these efficiencies with Agentic are going to reduce cost, reduce costs that could be invested back into the business and back into the product and therefore giving lower prices to our members. I'm excited about all the things we're doing. Well, yeah. yeah you, let's, you just summed that up very well. Yeah. Yeah, it's exciting, right? Let's close on... What a question that we asked Todd too, but 
what are you going to be most excited about as you look back at 2026 that you and your team, your merchants, the best merchants yeah, out best there, merchants out there I accomplished uh, in this year? I think if we continue to focus on making sure we have the best curated assortment, whether that's members mark made without, surprise and delight items, club of the community, if we focus on that next year when we're here, you're going to see some great sales again. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's yeah. great to meet you, too. You, too. Yeah, yeah. this has been fantastic. Thanks thank for you all. Thanks for taking the time out. I know you all are busy and you have busy schedules, and so it means a lot to us whenever Appreciate we get a chance it. to talk to you. All right. Well, that concludes our interview with Julie. Thank you, to the View, thank you to Vusion for sponsoring our coverage here at uh, NRF 2026. They're at booth 4921. Stop by, see them. Stop by, say hi to Ann and myself. And, and until next time. Be careful out there.